We're now going to get into the world of weed. Can you do that? When you do that? <laughs> All right, here we go. We're now going to get into the world of weed. All right, cannabis earnings. How much worse can it get for underperforming weed companies? Before I continue, I want to make sure that I stay on top of. Make sure you guys, if you like what you're seeing here, on our, uh, on our channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Biggest things, like, subscribe, and, and comment. I want you to, all three things I want you to do. Remember, if you like what you see here when the videos are produced or sent out, comment, comment, comment. All right, so with this, <laughs> um, real quick, Paul says the w uh, Wall Street Journal had an article today about domestic frackers cutting back on production to help raise prices. Now, the frackers, I, am, I have um, mixed feelings on that. Do you understand that all of the gas that's under there, uh, that, that's under the tectonic plates and all under wherever they are, once you remove that, it creates a, a, a space, unless we throw, I think we put water in there. I am still a little nervous about fracking, but guess what? It is a lot of gas that's available for us, and um, yeah, so I hear you in regards to that, Paul, on cutting back on the fracking to help to raise the prices on gas. Um, we'll see how that works out. We will, all right? So now I'm gonna continue on with the cannabis uh, stocks. How much worse can it get for underperforming weed companies? So I'm gonna scroll down here. Uh, cannabis companies in Canada have consistently over-promised and under-delivered. I remember that coming into this year that we were under the impression that cannabis stocks were going to take off because it was going to be legal in Canada. All right. Um, failing to achieve the promised profitability, failing to hit guidance offered only weeks before earnings results and struggling to sell enough product in Canada or elsewhere to justify their fattened valuations. So that was, going, that was the big news coming into this year, that it was going to be legal in Canada, and man, it was going to take off. Well, in the United States, it's legal in a lot of states, Colorado being one, of which I went to not too long ago to a user group. Um, I didn't partake of any of that. I really wanted to try the gummies, but it didn't happen. Um, but it's out there, and I'm thinking right now what it's lacking is regulation. Put the government into it, and we'll see what happens with that. Um, there is one index or one ETF that tracks the whole industry and it's called MJ, all right? Horizons Marijuana Life Scientists, uh, Sciences Index, HMMJ, THCX, a lot of different uh, stocks that are in this industry. I'm gonna look at a couple of them here. Cron, according to a report from Cowan analyst Vivian Azir, Cron distributes to the smallest number of provinces in Canada and hasn't yet entered Quebec, Canada's second most populous province, and it just recently expanded into Alberta. So that's Kronos. Let's go down. Altria, MO, is another stock. Actually, that was flat the day that the story came out. Tilray faces analyst expectations for a tough quarter. Tilray is another big stock in the weed industry. Um, let's scroll down a little bit more. ACB, Aurora Cannabis, disappointed in investors the last time earnings were reported. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Canopy, one of the biggest stocks in this industry. Uh, sales have mostly been flat since recreational legalization and may remain so for a while. You would think that with recreational smoking of marijuana that that industry would have blown up big time. But for some reason, it's not coming into fruition right now. So now let's take a look at some of these stocks. Let's go back to the watch list. And we're going to start off with uh, Tilray. We're going to also look at MJ, which is the ETF for the whole marijuana industry. Uh, Kronos, CGC, ACB. All right, let's analyze them real quick. Tilray, way over its value. Because the stock is overvalued doesn't make it a bad stock. It means, remember all of the fattened expectations? People are willing to pay more to own this stock than what it's currently worth. Let's look at um, Kronos, also way overvalued. Trading at 837, we have it valued at $1.14. Canopy, overvalued. Trading at 2042, valued at 1335. 
Aurora, smallest of all of these stocks, trading close to its value. It's more considered to be fairly valued than, under, uh, than overvalued, but there you go. Now, let's go look at our indicators. RV, upside potential. Tilray, not there. Let's go to Kronos. Uh, upside potential at 0.41, below the value of 1. Upside potential, not there. CGC, the biggest one of all of these stocks. Uh, upside potential, not there. Notice that all of these RVs are below the value of 1 to include ACB. Look at the safety. The stock's ability or consistency and predictability of a company's financial performance. Does it meet or exceed earnings quarter over quarter, year over year? We have an indicator for that. Above one, the stock is gonna have a higher probability of meeting or exceeding earnings. Below the value of one, it's gonna have a lower probability of meeting or exceeding earnings, which is important if you're investing in a stock, earnings comes up, you have an indicator that will show the likelihood of the stock's ability to meet or exceed earnings. Nobody else does that for you. So all of the relative safeties also below one. These stocks have a lower probability of meeting or exceeding earnings. And when earnings comes out, most likely you're going to see a lot of these missing, just like we saw in the news articles. RT, the stock's um, upside, but not actually the stock's short-term price trend. Is the stock in an uptrend or not? Above one, it's in an uptrend. The higher above one it is, the faster in an uptrend. The lower below one it is, the faster in a downtrend. RT on Tilray, the stock's in a downtrend. Um, Kronos, in a downtrend. Canopy, in a downtrend. Aurora, in a downtrend. So now you're getting more detailed information on this industry. No matter what anybody is telling you on TV, VectorVest is giving you what I like to call the Paul Harvey rest of the story. People are on TV, they don't always have your interest at heart. All they're trying to do is push product. They're trying to push industries. They're trying to push you into stocks. Sometimes it's not the right time to be in these stocks. And right now, by way of vector vest, I'm showing that the weed industry is still very speculative, not the right time to be in them. So I'm going to highlight these again. Mary, blah, 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 Kronos, CGC, ACB. Let's go take a look at their graphs. All right, view the stock graph, bring those over. Wow. So if anybody out there, anybody out there feeling that they want to be in the marijuana industry, here's the stock. It says 21 bucks. What's the stock doing? Pretty much moving sideways, but below uh, the 20-day exponential moving average. And remember, if earnings is the engine that drives the stock's price higher, what do you think over the last three months what falling earnings are going to do? Tilray may not be the stock to play. Let's go over to the next one. This is the whole industry. MJ, which is the ETF MJ uh, for marijuana. I can look at the whole marijuana industry in one, in one uh, ETF. What's it doing over the last three months? Marijuana is not high, it's low. So look at that. Not a good time to be in marijuana stocks. I do see that it's basing right now. Take off the last close. I do see that it's basing right now, but still below that 20-day exponential. I'm not feeling that right now. Kronos, what is it doing? In a downtrend. All right, man, look at the earnings per share. This whole industry and stocks within it. Canopy growth, $20.43. What's it doing? In a downtrend, below the 20-day exponential moving average. The only thing I do like about CGC is that the earnings are getting uh, less worse. All right, notice that it is getting less worse. It was down at uh, minus $2 here. Now it's less, uh, it's close to minus $1. So over the last three months, Canopy is getting less worse, but it is still currently below the 20 day and falling as far as price. ACB, $3.68, earnings are getting worse, price is falling. So hopefully if nothing else, you're learning that no matter what anybody is talking to you about marijuana stocks, the VectorVest software puts things into perspective that right now may not be the right time to be in marijuana stocks. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this getting started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, 
just hit the subscribe button right here.